Hey everybody, just a uh, editor's note here as I'm uh, working on the podcast. Uh, this was recorded Sunday night. This podcast is releasing on a Tuesday. Uh, so between now or then and now, um, basically the whole set was uh, <laughs> spoiled. Um, so lots more to talk about, but uh, keep in mind we only had just a few spoilers going into this episode. But thanks everybody and uh, listen to enjoy listening to this episode of Click Style. Welcome to Clickstar, brought to you by Lucky Dice Cafe out of Huntsville, Alabama. Check them out at luckydicecafe.com. And now for your hosts, Daniel Powell, Jason Alvey, Alex Coons, and Tyler Speeds. Hey everybody, welcome to Clickstoff today. This is your host Daniel Powell speaking. Just want to let everybody know Clickstoff is brought to you by Trellandtoad.com, the world's largest HeroClix retailer. Find HeroClix new and old on Trellandtoad.com and use coupon code Clickstoff for 5% off your HeroClix order. <clears throat> and merchant and pre-order items do not apply. If you like what you're hearing today on Clickstuff, check us out patreon.com forward slash clickstuff. Dollar and above gets entered into our monthly giveaways. Five dollars and above gets entered into our Discord server for Hero Click strategy and tactics discussion. Uh, this month is another $50 <coughs> web credit giveaway for our patrons. Um, so from Troll and Toad. Uh, so check that out if you'd like to uh, join up. Um, and joining me tonight is Jason has his drink, Alvy. Yeah, my friend Jose and I are having a good time. Yep. And Alex I don't I don't have I don't have one tonight for you, Coos. That's okay. It it happens. And Azareth still playing Flesh and Blood Strife. Yep. Also, hashtag Iron Hammer or Riot. Right. Um, well, I mean, you're like, you know, that could be good or bad. Like, by the time this is done, that tomorrow it's released, and then this episode goes a day or two later. <laughs> and it's like an amazing <laughs> piece, and everyone hears you say, Iron Hammer or Riot. Right. Like, what if hey, it's does, does he like it? He he, his, li- his last name is going to be Odin's son. Of course he's going to suck. <laughs> Right. <laughs> there. There. Tony Odinson. It's his <laughs> Iron Hammer's real name is Stark Odinson. Okay. Makes sense. But yeah. he's a Thor, so he can't be good. At least not in the common era. Right. This is somewhat true. So yeah. but yeah, so uh, tonight, right, like so we're gonna talk about Avengers Forever stuff. And you know, we typically do a recording like after Porter uh, does his unboxing, and we're like, okay, you know, we got a few things to talk about. Well, there's been like five cases of stuff opened up now. Um, you know, I guess you know there was two stores that we are aware of that got product like Friday, mm-hmm. and they unboxed it and had their pre-releases. So, uh, I guess we can scapegoat Alliance, right? That's what we're talking about in the pre-show, at least. Yep. Um, so, but it gives us a lot more to talk about, right? Maybe not much fanfare for the unboxings uh, from the content creators that start next week. Um, I did think about it today, and I was like, you know, I I could be upset, right? You know, Jason and I do our unboxings, right? And we could be upset. Um, but you know what? At the end of the day, the people get what they want, regardless of how they get it. And, you know, it's not mm-hmm. like, it's not like we've got revenue hinging or anything on these unboxings, right? We, we do these unboxings, you know, for the joy and the will of the people. So, um, you know, if we have some, if we have duplicate stuff of what's already been shown, we'll, we'll go over it and talk about it. You know, uh, from the collation of the brick that we get, uh, we'll still be super excited to do the unboxing. But, 
you know. And I think you're, I think you're still more likely to pull something that hasn't been seen because there's still a lot of the set we haven't seen. I mean, right. I, I'm, I'm worried, guys. How are we going to pay our mortgages about this, this content? Uh, already, I'm already working three corners. I can't really do a four. Yeah, I need some more money for my margarita fund because this isn't lasting long. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll start yeah. a GoFundMe for, for it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Cash, cash That's app. Right. You heard it here, folks. Yeah, cash apps and bio. If you'd like to fo- fund our drink fund for the show, so. Yeah. Um, uh, we should also plug onlydan.com. Yeah, only. I was gonna say, I was gonna add that uh, I was going to have a drink tonight, um, but I am now two weeks back in. Um, I I did start uh, Weight Watchers again, which is where I've been the most. Good job, man. It's, it's, it's where I've been. It's so it's my third time starting it back up. I I lost all my weight in 2020 with it. Uh, then I hit a wall, and for about the past 10 months, I was just doing calorie tracking and not so successfully. So uh, tomorrow's weigh-in day, but uh, first week was two pounds down. So I got about 15, 15 or so pounds to lose again, and I was like, all right, we got to do something different because this is not working. So, um, yeah, but, all, I've been on Weight Watchers before. They have a great program. They do. But what I was going to say in regards to drinking is that um so far i have been there is you can have points for your liquor um but uh, i did not plan to record tonight so i did not leave myself any points for bourbon this evening so and not not Mm. dipping into the weekly point total for the bourbon right not at the start of the week this week so Mm -hmm. so uh yeah we yeah i'm trying to get back into the uh losing a little bit more weight too because i know Dan, you and i we've got when we have to go to florida we have to wear those uh troll and toad sponsored speedos right yeah i wish that was a thing um yeah yeah i I actually i would like to lose some weight just to make sure i can get on the rides at disney yeah i've been working on it too i got on the scale this morning i was the lowest my lowest weight so far i'm about 15 pounds down so far that's great nice right that margarita diet you know man Alcohol only diet. <laughs> <laughs> you know that uh, yeah, that is a thing for some folks. It's called alcoholism. Yeah. Um, not that you're. Uh, not I don't that, think I'm quite there. Yeah, not that you're in any worry of that, Jason. But um, but unless no. the margarita fund gets real big, then we might have a problem. But. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's just it, it's it's a goal to get back on it, right? You know, August and September were super busy with clicks events, right? So yeah. it's kind of an ebb and flow. But uh, yeah, I mean, um, uh, the the Weight Watchers thing, you know, the zero point stuff um, really helps out. So like, it's it's grilled chicken. They added air popped popcorn. To the oh, to the zero point list, so I bought an air popper machine, and I have been hmm. destroying some air pop popcorn. Yep. So no, like no, you can't like no oil or anything, you know, and just I, I sprinkle a little bit of salt on it, just the tiniest tiniest bit. Um, so it's not like you know movie theater butter popcorn, but uh, um. But yeah, it's good. So, how is that hero clicks relevant? Well, Florida is at the beginning of January, and I do not want to backslide too far during the holidays. That January will be unenjoyable for me. Makes sense. Can't wait to yeah. Florida. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to Florida. So, and Avengers Forever is going to be the team sealed set. Yeah, it does look that way. Does not look like Batman will be out in time. And um, so, yeah, so uh, we got a bunch of stuff to go over. This is just our, and you know, just to be clear, this is our initial look at things, initial thoughts. Uh, this is not our set review, and um, you know, we'll probably talk a little bit about you know, some things that we see in Seal that'd be really cool. Um, and where I kind of want to thought about is, I want to maybe mispronounce his name, but uh, Arvel, 
uh, said, do the Avengers Forever 15 point generics have any relevance in an era where bystanders can do so much for zero points? Um, these 15 point generics are badass. Yeah, they are. So I, the first time, the first time I saw mindless ones, I was like, this, is, this piece is going to be important in about four months. Right. Well, because a little bit Moloid, more than that. Moloid, well, yeah, whatever, whatever rotation happens. About eight. Will be about gone. eight. Yeah, about eight months. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so my, Moloid's not Mystic, right? He's monster though. So this he's gave him right, power to that, Mystic, but Mystic didn't really need a lot of empower. But it's it was still theme fluff they didn't have. Yeah. Right. But so this, gives, this allows monster to keep an, uh, a low theme empower. Yeah. So mindless one is four cl- uh, three clicks, fifteen points. Monster mystical keyword. I think what is also a big thing is that they get four range, um, and then they are ten attack, one damage, uh, in power, right? So I think the other, I think there's a couple important things to uh, point out with Moloids, right? Or Moloids versus uh, mindless ones. Um, the Moloids had toughness. So underworld TA and the underworld TA. So you so the toughness means it's the same amount of clicks to KO them. So uh, yes. underworld TA is relevant, uh, ex- especially for your uh, unthemed teams that uses Moloids. Mm-hmm. Um, which also reminds me that we lose Kamish um, here soon Wonder as Woman. well. Uh, yeah, I thought Wonder Woman. I thought Wonder Woman had another year. No, I don't no, think so. No, Wonder Woman had like just come out around Florida last year, didn't it? It, it came out in April. It came out in April of April 20... of twenty twenty one. Yep. Yes. So next April will be two years for it. Yep. Which means, oh. uh, yeah. Wow. Right. So Damn, it's like you know two two months past that. So time flies. Right. But Which so that, so if that and... April that April May time is always. The they might give it another year. Well, no, no. no. Here, here's the problem. If they give it another year, it is hashtag justice for JLU because they cut it short oh, and by the sure. same measure. They gave rebirth an ex- The confusion is is that normally pre-COVID, the April set we always knew was going away. They confused us at the start of the pandemic by keeping rebirth. For another and year, we didn't have another DC set, right? Oh, uh, they wanted to keep. JLU two... wasn't out yet. They right? had they had JLU. It was out, and JLU came out in May. And okay. but they wanted to keep two DC sets. And modern was kind of the consensus. Um. So yeah. Uh. JL. Yeah. So Wonder Woman should be the last set that is rotated out. So, because it, it goes Wonder Woman eighty in April, and then we waited four months till August for X Men Rise and Fall. Yep. So the thing is, though, is how much do you love Kamish? Like, because if you really want Kamish to stay, maybe you shouldn't be doing the hashtag Justice for JLU. Maybe you should be like hashtag Justice for Commissioner. Yeah, JLU was a whole month later. In the same time span, it was May, end of May. No, I, I, I. Well, I mean, just to be clear, I'm ready for WWE 80 to go. Okay. Because that means Sky Tyrant goes, Scarab goes, um, Lasso goes. Uh, you just lose the lan- some of the lantern stuff, so that's what I'm interested in seeing. Like, are we going to get some of those objects? Oh, that means from Chip one goes, goes, Flash goes, right. Yeah. The, the, I'm fine with all that. The, the problem with me, the problem in that situation is if they keep Wonder Woman 80 for um, for the Lantern stuff, that's understandable, but that means that coming out a month later, which means it came out later than WW80 in the same, in the same scenario, JLU got the freaking hose, and it's annoying. Because JLU was at the start of the pandemic, which means it never got full competitive in-person play, and it, it just got hosed. Dan's like, I didn't get to play Batman Prime in person enough. Well, it's more like he didn't get to play Black Vulcan in person enough. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, uh, Black Vulcans, Grods, Brainiacs, 
uh, just you know didn't quite give them <laughs> didn't quite give them enough justice. I don't think. Where's your Where's your Black Widow movie justice? It came out the same day. I'm okay. Yeah, I would be okay with that too. I same meant... with Same with uh, Cosmic Clash. Technically, they all came out on the same day. Apparently. Yeah, I. It, yeah, that's fine. Black Widow would have made things a lot better these days. I I don't think I don't think Thanos would have been uh, as scary as he was. Apocalypse certainly wouldn't have been as scary. Nope. Right. I mean, let's just be honest, right? I mean, I, I, yeah, Justice for Black Widow movie too, right? I just I just liked Grodd's and. Um, Brainiacs and Batman Prime. I had a lot of things that I liked in JLU. But yeah, I, I same did. thing. I was glad to see Grodd and, Grodd and, and Brainiac go. The troublemakers uh, needed to go. I know. I'm, I know. I know. We've talked about that. You've talked about that too. Us <laughs> on here. But yeah, I mean, Black Widow would have been great. She was a very good equalizer to have. Yeah, well, also like forming her own issues. But yeah, she was. Well, she got an errata, right? Mid, yeah, mid yeah. before this, before th- she got an uh, she got an errata before Thanos came out, before Apocalypse mm-hmm. came out, right? So she would have been a risk to play against those figures right now. So that's true. But at any rate, we digress. Moloid versus Mindless One. So same number of clicks essentially. So for five extra points, I think what you're getting is you get one extra click or one extra point of attack value which i think is actually pretty relevant to make them attack um and the other big thing is for five points you do get the mystics team ability i couldn't remember if the mindless one had mystics which was yep, yeah that's good yeah you that... do you do take a downgrade though in the fact that they are standard size Right, but they also and they also have four range, which is also you know, oh. which means they can throw lights, um, and um, you know, I, I don't know. I think they may be a little less mobile, but they do have plasticity. Uh, so the downgrade, right, that they are tight, that they are standard, means they can't be packed as easily. But their standard size plasticity does matter. That's true. That soul sword on him, boys. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Pop, pop that soul sword on that three-click mo- mindless one. Let's go. Yeah. So, um, yeah. I think I, mean, I think mindless one's great. I mean, we saw Dormammu who who generates them. Um, he generates them pretty cool. Um, so I think that's neat. Um, the shield, Alex. Did you have anything to add on mindless ones? No, I think the set's just gonna. This is neat with all the. I think it's neat with all the generics and how many figures just keep generating them. Right. I think it's really interesting that we are getting not only like characters that generate these generics, we're getting characters that generate the generators. Yep. I think that's really cool. Yep. Yeah. I agree. I think it's cool too. Um. So the. Hydra Agent. Um, running Shot Pulse Wave for 15 points. That's pretty good. Now, I think the... Y'all tell me where I where y'all are thoughts are. But I think the big thing for Hydra Agent will be if someone good enough makes him. Makes them. I mean, right now we only have the one. Yeah, he's not good enough, right? Uh, Red Skull? I don't remember what he does. I think he's too expensive. Or did he have a lower point dial? He had a 40 point. Problem is, I guess this is the ultimate thing about all this, right? Is like, this is all tied back to rolling leadership and hitting leadership. Like, we've had so many things say, oh, if you hit leadership, this cool effect happens. And we got um, spoiled when we had Reign of Terror for a while. That went away, and then everyone soured on anything to do with rolling leadership outside of pieces like Thanos, uh, not Thanos, uh, Apocalypse, who kind of didn't need that, but did it anyway. Like, it was fine. Um, 
But now we've got the tarot cards, which make it a little easier if you hit it. So I'm kind of back into if you have a power that generates somebody, it's okay to play that. So I don't think Red Skull at 40, not that we're doing a set review, but I, I don't I don't think he's bad at 40 for everything he brings to the table. It just really depends on the team. Right. But yeah, I, I think what, one last thing I want to say is like I think being able to generate more and more like run out and pulse wave things like that feels nice because pulse wave is very nice so yeah right yeah i mean the the two range during the pulse wave is going to be a little hard to set up but uh i mean pulse wave resetting durations is a big deal now, unfortunately, Hydra Agent can't pulse wave past one apocalypse. So, uh, that's a, you know, he's not getting the whole group of them. Probably not. Hey, at least we don't have stupid uh, retals anymore. Man, that was the worst. Because retals having their toughness protected, pulse wave. So, it's like, nope, doesn't matter if you pulse wave me, Holmes. I'm just going to chill here because you can't turn off my toughness. So at least most of those are gone. I hated that change. Well, yeah, and and the um, like, Dark Phoenix having protected impervious. Yeah. So you couldn't even like crit hit and potentially get it. So, uh, but precision strike and pulse wave works together now. But obviously, Hydrage so doesn't have that. Joe does penetrating second blast. Right. But Hydrage doesn't have that either. Um. So the third generic that we've got is the shield operative, which I'm a little disappointed. I like to see AAV one better. I mean, the one that you can like pick a click number, right? Now is this the cheapest access to shield? Though? The shield agent was 15 points in CAAV. Right, but I mean currently. Like currently. Five, point, five points less than Peeps, right? Is Peepers 20 or? 25. 25. Five points less than uh, Darcy. Isn't Darcy 20? Darcy's 25. Oh, okay. Then yes. Yeah, so this would be, I think, the cheapest shield, which is important. So. Yeah, Kree Soldier is was the next cheapest at 20. Yeah, I still don't know if you're wanting to play this just for shield because it doesn't do much else yeah the problem so. i think is that the operative is a close combat oriented piece on a on I mean, a I, on a team that's designed for range right typically shield means range right but i i see I, i'll say this it is a little bit creative in the sense that it, it has stealth it's got a combat reflexes close combat experts so you have to get up close unless you bust stealth so it could it could chill in the bushes like an operative, boosting up your ranged attacker with the shield ability, and then when you get up close to mitigate that ranged attacker, well now the shield operative has close abilities. So I I see the design aspect of it, and it kind of makes sense. I see why it would want to be you would want it to be different, but I can see it being like it's an operative. It's here to support you know one of your main pieces, and then. If they get close, you can even use it as a stealth barrier if you want. So I, I don't hate it, but I, I I can see the right. You know, not thrilled about it. Yeah, makes sense. Um. So let's see. All right. So uh, can I just talk about? Can we talk about the one that that everybody expects me to talk about? Mm -hmm. All right, so Justin Hafford and uh, Amato both want to know about Thanos. Um, and, and I guess, like, at this point, I'm just expected to, like, review all new Thanoses, right? Um, there are Thanoses that suck, by the way. Um, this is not one of them. This is not... Um, it doesn't... You're right. It doesn't suck. I'm sorry. Yes, it does not suck. Right. I was looking to see if they coded the the dial yet they did um jason do you think it sucks or not new thing i'll suck or not no i don't think he sucks he's one of the, he's one of the better ones he's the best one but 
I mean, so, I didn't even get to play around with it, so. Yeah, I probably need to. Um, I'll probably need to play around with it a little bit more. Um, so he's got Is three it? stop clicks. Um, mm -hmm. and the stop clicks have impervious super senses and regen. I generally think the um. Oh. Impervious. It's very important. Regen as free. Regen is free. Yeah, yeah. I generally think the impervious is useless. Um, the super senses is relevant, uh, and the regen is free is obviously relevant. Um, so I think just as his die, he has eight range. Uh, does he ignore hindering? I haven't looked at the card card. Um. Doesn't appear to. Mm -mm. No, he doesn't. So that's not great. I'm not saying he has to have everything, right? Like the legacy card one does. Okay, just to be clear. He doesn't see through blocking, so that's a little odd. Well, that's <laughs> kind of weird. He can't shoot through blocking. Ugh. <laughs> No, I'm just saying. I'm just. I'm just thinking. Th I'm just thinking that for your tent pole, right? Seeing through hindering is important. Yes, it definitely is. So, um, here, here's my here was my interesting thought when I saw this. This is a character. So normally, like the OMA characters, which at two fifty points, he's an O. He's effectively an OMA. Right. Um. Is you can usually just, you know, take your time and deal with them at your leisure because they're not, you're just going to out action them. This is an OMA that you actually can't ignore. Right. So let's talk about he's, why you. He's an OMA that can win the game. Right. So, uh, special Thanos shall not rule alone. When Thanos starts the game, get a Taraxia bystander. So you get the bystander and she. I think she, that is one of her clicks from the the LE from back in the day. Am I? Well, it might be. I want to look it up. Don't just want I to don't see. remember. I remember everybody had dozens and no. dozens of those things because they were not that great. Yeah. Yeah, that's um, a pile of those things. Nobody wanted them. It is very close to her starting stat. She has power cosmic as a pog, which is cool. Um. Yeah, so it is close. So she started out with 7, 10, 17, 3 with a special perplex. Um, the new one is 8, 10, 17, 3. So with, with, regular, with regular, regular perplex. perplex. Yeah, so, um, <clears throat> you know, it's uh, pretty dang close, actually. So, um, so you can generate a pog. So having another attacker that is um, has enough damage to... Break blocking is relevant. Um, okay. So, Thanos starts the game with six mortal tokens. At the end of your turn, you may re roll a d6, cre decreasing the result by negative one for each of his mortal tokens. If you do, gain mission points equal to the result, minimum zero. Um, once per game, per event listed below, when the special event occurs, remove one of Thanos' mortal tokens. Thanos uses willpower and succeeds. Okay, so that can happen turn zero. Yep. All right. Thanos hits an equipped character. That's where it could get hard, if he, since he doesn't ignore stealth. Uh, you know, there's always something he could probably hit, but, you know, it's okay. And we're uh, going into going to potentially be in an era where well, there's a lot of characters equipped. Right. Um, a friendly character named Taraxia is KO'd. Um, so she could obviously hit a Mystic's character. Um, she could crit miss, uh, via playing the crit miss card. Um, Thanos heals two or more clicks in a single turn. So that's not in a, uh, like one action. That is in a single turn. So if he's down low, um, he could heal one click. Off of steel energy, go on to his second stop click and then heal again. Yep. Um, Free regen. So that's relevant. Um, Thanos uses impervious and succeeds. 
Uh, so that one's a little bit harder to do with a lot of penetrating damage, but it's possible. Uh, you can still roll it, right, and succeed. Even yeah, you can actually play. still roll it. Oh, okay. yeah, you can still succeed, it's just you can't reduce it. So you're right. still using it, it just it doesn't reduce. Gotcha. And then a finalized character's roll is a critical miss. So, it's just a character, it's not yeah, a character. It is anybody, right? So, crit miss card could be a big deal. Yeah, crit, crit missing with Taraxia is actually pretty okay, right? Because you get two out of that deal. So, it just feels like. And, and then, what are the, what are those mortal tokens do? Did you go over that? Uh, yeah, th I did. I talked about his first little thing, okay. right? So once he gets to, once he removes the mortal tokens, the D six for gaining mission points becomes relevant. Yep. It does, however, feel like you could deal with Thanos before his mission point thing comes into play. Because 250 points left doesn't leave you a lot of room for barrier. Uh, leaves you room for double barrier. Yeah, but... Leaves you room for triple barrier for that matter. Uh, you can't get triple. Well, I yes, guess you, you can, can with three Marvellas. Yes. Just not on the team, I guess you're ultimate um, goal in that point like if you're just chilling there if you can't hit anything but so and that's what that was my thing like if you can get a couple like one or two of the mortal tokens off which you can get you know the one off on your own turn and then if like you just send taraxia down to hunt down something to either force your opponent to deal with her or you know she's going to be able to do something for you um then your opponent has to engage thanos and Thanos' stats are really good now he does like mm -hmm. everything else, just you've got the hard counters that counter everything. So absolutely, he does have those. So the Scarlet Witches, the Agathas, like that still would just that'd be a terrible matchup. It, right. Yeah. But and, and so it feels like a lot of those things are becoming a must play though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Like, am I am I losing it there? Like, it almost feels like a lot of those things. You almost have to play, right? So let me ask you, how often is an 11 for 3 going to be killing something and scoring points? In today's age, probably pretty consistently. There's probably something for her to go kill. Because, I mean, if they're just going to ignore Taraxia, now she's only got a 4 movement, you could perplex it, but then you're attacking with a 10. Because my thought is like, okay, what's the worst case scenario? You're very likely at some point in the game to hit a willpower. So you could say that one's a pretty a, a pretty good chance, right? Mm -hmm. Let's say you don't get mm -hmm. to hit a hit off with Thanos at all. Just say whatever they play smartly because he has no improvement. Say that it just doesn't happen. They don't kill Taraxia for whatever reason. They just ignore her because she's a 10 for 3. Mm -hmm. So that means... You're down to just you gotta roll sixes and you gotta roll that a lot. Like that's my only concern with it. It would require a lot of testing for me for this thing yeah. to succeed. I don't think like every other mission point we've had outside of Wrecker that one time, it just feels like it's right on the edge. But it's just it's like we well, that's and that's of... why like you can't look at it as a devote as like it's only going to win via mission one. It has to be the backup condition, and this character can fight. Oh, I, no, I don't think. If I'm playing the, the... I don't think that's the case for this Thanos, in my opinion. Like, in He's my, a 13 for 5 with a 20 defense. Is it 12 for 5? Or 12 for 5. He, he, does, he does get to a 13 for 5 for click 2, but... Sure, but he... With 3 stop clicks. He can fight. Yeah, but you get him past that first stop click, and... Oof. Duh. Right, yeah. So if, if you if you get him onto phasing, right? Yeah, that's the deal. If you get him onto phasing and you barrier him in, that's the problem when it comes to OMAs. Like in this situation, is he can be barriered in and not be able to fly out, or you just barrier him in on a indoor map and he is stuck and he can't do anything. Like negative zone, 
You just trap him. That is generally the problem with OMAs. And I don't know that with your last 50 points with Taraxia, if you're going to be able to KO enough before they just keep wailing on Thanos. I mean, if they if they can bring over their barrier and you can't deal with it through your last 50 points in Taraxia and Thanos, because remember, the only person that's really going to be able to barrier him in across the map is Molecule Man. Yeah. So let me let me ask you this real quick then. What what would you equip Thanos with? I'm sure that's a question people have. Probably cloak. Uh, cloak or carnage? Cloak or like one of the shape change items? Yeah, probably the carnage symbiote. Depends on where I want my other fifty, you know, my other points to go. Yeah, I'm just wondering if there's anything else that would be useful. He doesn't have mystics, which is fair. Um, yeah, actually, I'll give him like Warlock Sword. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And since Carnage Symbiote might like will probably be rotating at rotation, like, I'm kind of thinking past the Symbiote. Yeah, it'll be gone. Yeah, th- this one's tricky. I think it's. Yeah, it's it's. I, I when I first looked at him, I was like, "Oh, it is promising," but I think it's just there's too much, which is good, right? Like it, it it's good that this is a, not a just oh bam easy, mission mm-hmm. point. Like that's the point. They're they're right. playing mission points very conservatively, which is what they should be doing. So y- you should always be conservative on win the game mechanics, <laughs> right? Um, I don't think this is when this set releases. I still don't think this is the best mission point piece. So, no, no. I I don't think so either. I think he is a like I said, he's a very good OMA that has a backup win condition. Yeah, it's it's just hard to look at him as a good OMA when we have so many other better OMAs. That's what my what other better OMA do we have? We have tent poles. Yeah, I mean, I'm just looking at the the other Thanos. I'm looking at Apocalypse. Like those are Olympic. tent poles. I mean, those are okay. Very similar though. We were talking about uh, the prize one, wasn't he in OMA? The prize yeah, one, yeah. yeah, the prize one is in OMA territory, and I think, I mean, the 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 APOC. I just don't know if you get enough turns in, right? So like. How many can you remove on your own again? You could possibly crit miss with Taraxia. You can potentially remove four on a turn. You could potentially on remove your turn. Right, assuming Taraxia gets to attack. Correct. All right, so then you roll sixes, right? That's still five more turns. That's a total of six turns. Yeah, I'm not saying... He, you have to be able to play quick with him. Like, if, you, if that is what you... You have to identify that that is the condition you have to go for. And that is you have to you have to play fast turns. Yeah. And you and you keep and you keep on your opponent to keep up the pace of the game. Yeah, but you know what? You're not gonna just get you're not gonna get that from players. They're gonna slow play you. They're and I and I don't mean that in a negative way. They're not no, going to I know. They're going to purposely speak out their actions very succinctly <laughs> to eat up as much time as possible and play the yeah. game very correctly. Yeah, sure, sure. Uh, uh, and don't don't forget there's also, um, you know, you were talking about certain cards. I'd almost play some of the mission point cards over, like the crit miss one. I would almost... I almost would rather play a, a different one. Like, I was just using that as an example, to be clear. Well, I think the tower is actually really good for because it buys him an entire turn. If he's on click one, he's, like I said, he's a 21 defense because you have Thraxia's prepared. you got to risk it? With with a lot of characters right now that don't want a crit miss? Right. Yeah, I was thinking from a standpoint of... Uh... For the mission point. The thing. mission point. Like, I feel like if, honestly, if you're playing, in my opinion, if I'm playing Thanos, I'm going all in on mission points. Like, because in my head, he's not good enough. Like, 
I'm not going to play him as a one man army as a one man army and mission points be secondary. To me, it's like I'm playing him for. Mission but if you points. if you play him as a mission point piece, you will never win as a mission point piece. Well, that's that's the part that's remained to be. Seen. Because he, because I don't I don't think he is a mission point primary piece. I don't know. So I on Alex's note there, and I think I think this is a good point to spend a little bit more mm -hmm. to, a little bit of time on. So I'm just looking to see yeah. if I can find all the the cards. I think uh, they're all pr uh, major. I'm not, I'm, not trying, I'm not trying to say like I I I think he is just more of a fighter than are, a backup condition. Are they all our major arcanas, Alex? I think so. Uh, mm, no, there's uh, there's like the perplex one, isn't it? Isn't that, that a that's one? a major arcana also? Is it? Yeah, it's the. So there's the, the lovers, which is doubles. Yeah, because all the cups and pentacles they're all tied to powers. None of the powers um, ones have anything to do with mission points. I think it's so you only get one mission point card because everything else is tied to like pulse wave, quake, pensai, like the perplex one for mission. So points judgment is, is the healing one. That's judge. That's the yeah. So uh, the world is the um, starting area one. Which I don't think is reliable enough. The healing one's probably decently reliable. Um, I don't know. I don't think any of the I don't think any of the suits have mission point ones that they might, nope. but I don't think they do. No, I'm pretty pretty confident. You just have six cards: the lovers, the judgment, uh, lovers' judgment, the world, wheel of fortune, temperance, and the moon. And I may be missing one, but I'm pretty confident those are the only mission point based ones. Well, how um, many uh, how many major arcanas can you play? Up to four. But you have to play the rest of the stuff too, right? Yeah, so you'd have to play an eight card deck. That's mm -hmm. probably fine. It, maybe. It, like I don't know if like would that fifty points is so small. So it's like I don't, don't know if like Sad Nine is worth it because they do theme, mm -hmm. but that means you only got 15 points left. So not that we're trying to build around Thanos. I'm just trying to think of like flexibility in those cards because if I'm looking at all these cards, I, I'm thinking either. I mean, Sad Nine could help them crit miss. But it's finalized attack roll, isn't it? Finalized yeah. a character's final attack roll is a crit miss. She influences after the finalized attack roll. No, the the crit miss card is all misses or crit misses. Right, you were saying Saturn Nine. Yeah, what, that's Saturn Nine can reduce the total down to a to a, a miss. miss. Yeah. And then it becomes a crit, and then it becomes a crit miss. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So. I don't I, know, I do, Jason. I what I what would you more testing to be done. what would you play for your last fifty points, Jason? Uh, um, good question. Maybe I don't know. Some, there's not really anything else that's a mission points you could really put with him. Not much. Everything. Yeah, but Wati's going away, so I'm not. Yeah. Miss minutes. I'm not looking at the, miss minutes. So yeah, that's the only other thing really. And then it gives you like 15 points left. And then in the mirror match, you start accumulating one mission point per turn in the mirror match. Right? Yeah. 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 When, when you can finally target their, their Thanos. Um, yeah. That's unfortunate. Uh, well, you can always, you know, put Cosmo with him. <laughs> yeah. That is a good segue, Jason. Uh, yep. What? Move over, Lockjaw. We got a new, new yeah. best Borker in town. Yeah. Somebody uh, at Ruth Kid loves dog. Well, who, <laughs> everybody wait, loves dog. Wait a minute, every oh, Jason. I understand you don't love dogs necessarily, uh, but everybody else loves dogs. Okay. Mm -hmm. No, that's not. That's not true. And clearly, they love dogs more than cats because of that deck star that we. But <laughs> yeah, right. I don't know that that one. What was the super cat one? 
Um, I don't know. Oh, and we also oh, got, um, we got Tico. We got uh, Tico was good. Captain Marvel one. What's it? What's their face? Chewy. Ellie, Chewy. We got yeah. the Ellie Cat, the Super Cat. What was the Super Cat called? Oh, you're talking about um, the one from Superman Wonder Woman. Oh, yeah. Streaky. Yeah. Every, every, everyone's Streaky. yelling at us right now. Streaky. 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 Uh, I love Streaky. Streaky. Streaky was so good. But were those all bystanders? No, they were figures. No. Streaky was a figure, but the rest oh, of them streaks. have been. The rest of the Tico cat. Was a bystander. The rest of them have been bystanders, though. Yeah. yeah now Streaky, we've got Streaky good was a, uh, but yeah. was, the world's, was the world's finest L.A. Right, there you go. And But the thing is, as far as figures go, as far as, like, bystanders, there haven't been any dog bystanders that I know of. Uh, maybe. Um, but yeah, like, I was thinking, like, every Lockjaw, almost every Lockjaw has been good. Yep. Uh, ever. Yeah. Right, because you have yeah. the... Uh, so every dog has been good. Even the uh, pick a power uh, the Ace the Bat Hound was the original pick a power puppy before Lockjaw. But yeah, like almost every dog in the game has been meta defining. And now we've got another one. Right, because even the, I would say even the Lockjaws from Guardians of the Galaxy were freaking good too. There there, I'm done talking about mm -hmm. Lockjaw. Um Lockjaw does play nice with Cosmo. They do theme together. They happen to be mm -hmm. dogs. All right, so let's talk about what Cosmo yeah. does for a little bit. Um, so he is the AI um, Cosmo. Um, he ignores hindering terrain and characters for targeting, which is huge, uh, by himself. Um, so his special movement, he has 45 points. Um, how much was he to begin with? Was he 45 to start 70. with? 70. 70. He was an expensive he was 70. Yeah, he was a, he was expensive. But he was really he was almost really good because his special damage power was really great. Mm -hmm. The problem is that you had to push him onto it. But yeah, um, Cosmo is so his special movement power is mind control power. Choose a standard power until your next turn. Cosmo has opposing characters within range. Can't use the chosen power. Yeah, so that's pretty good. His range is six. His range yep. of six, six which is target. which just so happens to be the standard uh, range for Outwit. Also has to be twice the range of like a Rune Monkey. <laughs> right. And uh, mm. it happens to be greater than four, which is mm. the range that um, Beast has for shutting off protected Outwit. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I, I reread into Beast. Beast can turn off Protected Outwit from range, from his range. Uh, I don't think so. I think it's within four. It is, it is the multiple, it's the splash Outwit that is within four of oh. the target. Um. And Beast's range is six. <laughs> mm, but still, so, I mean, he just can't use Outwit, though. So he would have to have a Perplex to get to seven range. Or a shield, yeah. Right. Um, yeah, but yes, so but that's important because uh, Cosmo creates the bubble, right? He creates the bubble for Thanos, mm -hmm. right? We know, we know what you not you're just doing. for Thanos. He does it for everybody, right? He keeps he keeps Beast away from Thanos, and it makes me very happy. I wanted to get that out of the way because I can say it first. Um, he also makes animals viable again. Maybe. Yeah, kind of. Maybe. Maybe. It depends, right? Like, because animals took a hit if you follow the Florida maggot. Well, maggot's going to retire, and so is high evolutionary. So, so we got to. We, we can't. We can't. We, we can't necessarily that's, do. That's there, there still is like six months of tournaments between now and then. I I am looking really? at playing Cosmo. Really? I don't think so. Not that. Not Cosmo. not not that have been announced. Right, you're right, Jason. Not that have been announced, but that are potentially there. Well, we got PJ's other event that was announced. Yep, yep. So we, so we that's do. In March. We do know that. Yeah. So that's another one. So three months of events. Right. Well, that's only two. <laughs> that's two in the next 
Yeah, but you know, you know, Jay, Jay always runs. Jay's Jay runs in December. Fun. Yeah, He's Jay. He's one in December. Jay runs in December. The Pacific Northwest has quite a few events, um, which they just had one yesterday. Um, but I know yeah, I, I am I am bringing there. the pupper into the Shi'ar into the Shi'ar Empire uh, with the true emperor of the Shi'ar, and he can protect the the good emperor. That was very uh, vague. Vulcan. Oh, it, it's Emperor. It's it's Emperor Vulcan. It's the original Empire Emperor. <laughs> right. I don't know if everyone has followed your, your escapades <laughs> of like Emperor. Emperor yeah. Vulcan oh, and I will I will specify Emperor Vulcan Prime, not the shitty super rare from Horizon Fall. <laughs> uh, you should have clarified. You should have let. You should <laughs> Just have made let people that. think. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mad rush to buy that super rare. I actually was trying to build with that super rare when he first came out, and then Gladiator came out. I was like, "Oh, yeah, it's just a little <laughs> bit better." Um, so, I mean, he could take the power action and then be carried. Yep, and it, it is effective. Um, yeah, he he brings strong offensive and defensive capabilities. Right. So mm-hmm. you know, it's it's like uh, you know, power cosmic mastermind is a problem. Or can be very powerful. Um, Cosmo might take care of that. He says specifically to choose a standard power, correct? Yep. Yes. Okay, so he can't call it stop click. Okay. Right, he can't call it stop click, <laughs> but he could choose powers that are on a stop click. That's true. So mm-hmm. he like, could also, and if you go up against an X Men team, he can also just say Blades, Claws, Fangs. Right, which is big. <laughs> which is big versus the you know Prize Apoc. Yep. Um, yep. So. So, um, one thing I, I want to go back to because I think it, it's a good point because we talked about we talked about it like the animal team. Mm-hmm. We want to talk like we said. Oh, this brings animal back. Does it actually bring animal back? Right. Well, so animals got top sixteen at worlds from the mm-hmm. one person that played it. Right. Mm-hmm. That we good know conversion of. rate. Yep. Good conversion rate. So, <laughs> you know. Cosmo just turns off stuff, right? On their alpha, right? If if you know if they need to mm-hmm. like protect up behind two lock jaws, he can turn off barrier till the next turn. Um, for, who, for who to do what? That's my question. But is it what, what are we taught? Like we've got like the animal has so much good support. It used to rely on hammer eye and a bunch of maggots. Yeah, or there's other slight vari- variations. Yeah, two so two lockjaw, like, two lockjaws, bunch of maggots, Cosmo. Okay, if we're talking the Florida event though, because that is the next ma- you know big event, you got you got one. That maggot. so I'm not. You got ham. Yeah, you still you got, got ham. ham. Good point. So I, I guess Alex, for now, like my thought process has to be that maggot is still oppressively duplicatable. Um, I don't know where you're like... What, yeah. what does that mean? That means yeah. that I don't think that... You can that play them in multiples. You can play them in multiples. That that means that I have faith that WizKids is going to come out with a watch list before the Florida event. That they're not going to just ignore the going-ons in the world. And you think they're not going to touch Maggot at all? Correct, because they've already looked at him once. I mean, they've looked at... If, they, if they're if they doing Thanos, that was your argument before. They've already looked at him once. So that's your, you're continuing your argument for that, right? They've looked at him once. Well, with them. No, nobody else heard that argument because we lost that episode. So I think you can mention <laughs> on multiple podcasts. Though. Probably. I'm pretty sure, yeah. I would um, I would say that yeah the the whole thing of animals is contingent on being able to play oppressively duplicatable maggots. If maggot becomes unique, then he's not the animals isn't playable anymore. That, so I, I we got to make an assumption that maggot is duplicatable. I wonder. Yeah. So that's interesting. I wonder if that's. True. Because like, your only free at, your only free attacks after carry would be um, spider ham and maggot, and that's just not enough offense, I don't think. Yeah, 
There's that beast, I guess, that you can carry and make an attack with, right? Uh, but you Empire can't. Beast. Yeah, you can't, you can't place anything you or something. Can, in yeah, there, you yeah. can't place it. Yeah, it only has to be him, and that's just probably not quite enough either. No, no. Uh, you not. got the Wonder Woman and Jumpa that could free in cap. Yeah, I think we. Yeah, might, look out! I think we might I mean, be hit, stretching a little bit there. I mean, you hit you hit a tarot card or two that might make it a little better. But. Right. Um, but yeah, I, the cosmos turning off, you know, high evolutionary going to 40 and Cosmo turning off any oppressive defenses, I think in general will make animals be playable again. Uh, animals that are playable in a way that Tyler wants to play it. Okay. Uh, and Tyler's not here tonight, so he can't he can't say that I'm wrong. <laughs> and to your point, to your point, um, you've only got like I know you're saying we shouldn't talk about when they rotate, but I mean animals, the alpha animals effectively dies unless we get something else. Once Chip is gone, Chip is kind of the linchpin, right? Right, Chip. Well, Lockjaws can carry four. Or three or whatever. Yeah, but you rely on Hammer Eye, right, to be able to copy no. and then carry everybody else up. Mm -mm. No, you don't. You don't. Have, you don't have to. Uh, with the Perplex, you can get across our standard the the four by four maps with it. Uh, animals relies on going first. Uh, you know that's a thing. Um, So, but well, I, he's just good on non theme stuff too, right? And he's just good on anything. He's framework. just good, right? He, anything that says can't use just automatically becomes almost automatically becomes consideration, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I mean, he's got other good support powers. I mean, the TK is useful, so if you need a TK piece. In addition to everything else, it's not like you're paying everything for this, like Saturnine or Mad Gym, where you're paying everything for that special power, and then it's kind of like, oh, he he could do one barrier, or like he doesn't provide any other support. Like he he at least can also fill the TK role. And outwit. Make. Yeah, and outwit. So, and he ignores characters. So yeah, right now his and, special. And, and, his special uh, damage power, again, I don't think is um, reliable, right? So it's sit, outwit, when Cosmo uses it, the target character gains immobile uh, until your next turn. Um, that, if you ever get onto that power, that can just win you a game. Yep. And, you know, there there is something to also being able to... Well, I guess you're probably... He's never attacking, right? Like he's always power action using that power, probably for the most part. Yeah, and so keep I was gonna it. say you could surround power him action using what power? The movement the, power. The, it's the, free. No, it's a power action. The turn off his. Yeah, it's, it's a power, power action. action. Yeah, it'd be, it's a free. No, it'd be broke. It would. He'd be on every. It'd team be nutty if, if yeah, if he was free. Okay. Um. I was gonna say if you were able to like surround him in lock jaws and then he's able to just shoot through the lock jaws, the mind control is pretty yep. sweet also. Uh he's also a TK. -er. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's plenty yeah, Alex, I, I, I do think he could attack. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah, it really just depends on like do you really need to turn something off that turn and I feel like a majority of the time you are. Right. And you know, super senses, something. right? And I think between tarot's and willpower and leaderships, that Cosmo should stay fairly untokened across the the span of three turns. Yeah. So. Uh, I also like that they gave him the Guardians of the Galaxy TA. I really like that team ability. Yeah. It's solid. And if that you have true. any wild cards, it's a great it's a great TA to wild card. That's true. Um was there anything else legacy wise that we thought was really noteworthy? I mean, we can I talk, think wait, Hawkeye has potential. Okay. 
Why? So he's a 50 point 10 range 12 for 4. Um, I just feel like he's a solid, like, sec, you know, tertiary attacker that's got a good point value. All right, and he's got swap, right? Yeah. Which Alex is all about, right? Like, Alex, you got you got math to do. You like you got to take a college course on trig uh, trigonometry <laughs> again, right? Yeah, a whole nother set of Avengers, which is great. Like, uh, Avengers since Disney Plus has been like right there. It's just it needs it just feels like it needs a little bit more, and I think Avengers Forever already looking at a lot of the pieces we have. I think put it at a very playable state because there's right. just a lot of higher point pieces now that you could do something with. So like if you don't want Scarlet Witch, you could swap in maybe one of these hundred point or seventy five point pieces that are actually pretty legit. Um, and we haven't even seen them all yet, so that's what I'm interested in. Like little, even little monster at a hundred is pretty sweet. So right. there's there's a lot there. I'm I'm pretty pumped about it. Which I can't quite take your segue to go to little monster just yet, Alex, because I I did want to no. say you, I, I do. But it was a good one. Um, um, I actually one piece I'm interested in building around potentially is Jarvis. Hey, what? No, no like, you're lying. No, 100%, man. Like, it, 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 it's, it's a, a somewhat dependent on a few other things, but he's so good for a mastermind piece. Like, now, I know there's only three, and that's the limitation. Yeah, so, I was say, how many mastermind characters are in Avengers? Three, currently. Huh. Outside of anything that gives Mastermind, which doesn't happen, like I, maybe pick a powers if there's any, but Hope already has Mastermind. Um, it's Hope, Hulkling, and Ultra, Ultron Pym. Those are the three. And Ultron Pym is one that I've enjoyed. Like I've been wanting to try to build around anyway. Um, so he's one that he's on my radar. That doesn't mean I'm actively trying to build with him. He's 35 points, which is a nice point thing is avengers it doesn't have anything that's low low like 15 10 point multiple bands um but 35 for perplex remove a a terrain marker within four for free isn't bad either i mean it's not terrible but it's one i'm keeping in mind in the event that we get any mastermind more uh, mastermind adventures and also uh like uh brian gailey mentioned in our on Facebook at some point, you know, keep in mind we're getting new terrain rules where you can bring in a terrain. So if he's able to boop in there and just kind of be like, all right, your five point terrain thing, if they cost points, I think they said they were going to cost points. Um, you know, just sweep that off the map. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's something there too. So I don't hate them. It's just, I always try when I look at these legacy cards to not be uh, like a jilted lover seeing how they used to be and how they are now or something. Children Lover's probably not the right analogy. But like, oh, this is how Jarvis used to be. Look at him now. It's like, okay, how is he now? Because the old Jarvis doesn't matter to me anymore. Like, who cares what Jarvis could do? He's not playable in anything but Golden Age. Uh, you know what, so, Alex? I will totally be a Jilted Lover. <laughs> that's fine if that's how you want to do it. If that means you don't play a piece that's... No, but I was going to say, yeah, Jarvis is one that you do need to pick up in anticipation of these new rules, right? I, I don't think that his legacy card was going to be super expensive, um, but so I would say, you know, and Jarvis himself shouldn't be terribly expensive to pick up, right? I mean, you know, Avengers Assemble was seven years ago already, Um so probably he was probably bought up though right before yeah he's the car came out is the problem yeah i mean but i'm just saying you could probably find it in somebody's you know if you have a local play group right somebody probably still has their box of avengers assemble extras somewhere right you might north have factory to, said. north factory said if you're alex um <laughs> but you might have to do that's, a little that's really why alex wants to build with, with yeah nervous. 
But I'm just saying, <laughs> the reason that you keep a, a, a mind, Jarvis's mind is those new terrain rules, which they said that's the, what, Spider-Man set stuff? Yeah. Yep. yeah. So, so quite a bit away. But... Right. But yeah, get him, get him now, right? Be working on getting him now uh, for that reason, not because he gives you three free ID cards. Yeah, right now his main thing is that he's... He is amazing master mind fighter, which um, is fine. Like, it's just there's not a lot of Avengers that mastermind. So, right. and there's not a lot of dishing out of Avengers keywords right now. Silver Age, though, don't get me started on Silver Age. So, oh yeah. Um, don't worry, I won't. <laughs> so I was gonna say, um, Coulson's cool, right? If you're playing Prime Carter, you're playing Coulson. Um. It's nice to have another sideline active thing to like throw out there on the sideline. Right. We don't have a ton of sideline active. So, Jason, how do you feel about the gutting of Smoky Foot Cap? Um, I haven't really thought about it to be honest with you. So you used to play that quite a bit, right? Oh yeah, I played the shit out of it when it was when it was. In- uh, right. So, what he used yeah. to do during the Captain America set was um, uh, wrong one. It was he was he was he? Hammer of Thor. Hammer of Thor, Captain America. Sorry, they're they're both forty. So I looked at the wrong one. Um, Captain America's line of fire is only blocked by walls and indoor blocking terrain. Um, you know what? I am incorrect. They did not gut him because I forgot that he was blocked by walls. Uh, oh, yeah, no. He, he, walls. he wasn't blocked by outdoor blocking terrain. No, yeah. Right. He was going through that. So that was relevant. Um, never mind. I, I am incorrect. I, re, I recall my gutting statement because I thought he was throwing through walls back in the day. Just outdoor. Just mm-hmm. outdoor. Yeah, never mind. He's fine. We used to play him on that Fountain of Asgard map quite a bit. Oh, yeah. That would have been fun. Oh, yeah. Is that the Fountain of Asgard map we still have? Yes, the one we got reprinted, yes. Yeah. So... Yeah, that was pretty fun. Yeah, he just got improved targeting, hindering, elevated in characters, which is fine. I mean, that's not horrible. Do you think 50s... Do you you think if 50s appropriate... I don't know. He only got ten attack. I would have liked to see like, forty. Yeah, that would have been better. Um, and keep in mind, right? I can wish for whatever I want, right? I can also poop in one hand and wish in another, and see what fills up first. I guess, right? To use how the, much? How many points was the legacy cap that we got before the free attacker? Uh, forty. He was fifty as well. Uh, was he fifty? Yeah, he, sure, he wasn't forty. But I think he's. I'm looking at it right now. He, I think he, that cap is better than than this cap. So I think this cap should be for. Man, this, his, his stats just fall off so hard. Like he has two clicks of running shot, and then he goes like nine attack, and then two damage. Right. He doesn't even have any of the CC of the uh, combat experts to help. Yeah. They at least gave the other cap uh, CCE. CCE and free make an attack. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's. I mean. His dial just doesn't quite hold up these days. Right. Um, we, we think... Um, no one thinks Kang is playable, right? The legacy. Kang. Uh, no. Mm-mm. That was the one where he, hit, he gets hit, he hits something, he gets like a token, and that pluses his combat values or something. No. Are you? Are you it's like a pseudo-perplex. He just needed to protect it out with. Does he not have power? I haven't looked at his time. No, uh uh-uh. uh. No, he doesn't. doesn't. look like it. Bummer. Yeah. And, and there you maybe go. needed to be 100 points. Yeah. 100 points, I think it'd be really good. Yeah, I mean, it's good that not all the legacy cards are, like, out of the park. Case. Our, our Apocalypse and Thanos. <laughs> Right. I mean, there should be at least one in every set. I feel like that's how it's been. It's like, there's one that's really good. And then the rest are like, okay. Like, that's neat. Yeah. 
No, I, I, I agree with y'all, right? I mean, it's just, it just kind of sucks that he's not that good. Yeah. Um. Yep. But no, I don't, I don't think so. I don't think it's. Yeah, I, just I mean, Modoc. If you uh, if you subscribe to certain uh, certain lines of thinking, uh, yeah, we're the not best figure in all of Hero Clicks. Right. Yeah, we're not <laughs> we're not uh, we're not Scott here. So, um, I still think Modoc's pretty good, though. I mean, I, I'd, we'd like a thirteen attack, right? Does Modoc have a thirteen attack? Uh, yeah. I'm looking no, no, not Modoc. Uh, sorry, the, <laughs> the, the the other guy, Kang. Kang. Kang is a thirteen. Yeah, I wasn't. Yeah, I wouldn't. Yeah, it's like, what is it? Am I missing something? <laughs> yeah, Kang. Kang has a thirteen attack, but he's a hundred and a quarter, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, his powers worded when he hits, he get give him a time token. Is that per figure? No, it's it's no. once per attack. Basically. Okay, that's what I thought, but. Make it's sure for attack is just he can miss some characters and hit the other ones. Right. Yeah, so like, yeah, there's no willpower, there's no improved targeting, there's no protected outwit, he's 125 points. Yeah, he gets bad also, like after click two. Well, after click four he gets bad. Well, he has no move and attack after click two. Right. Yeah. Gosh. He's stationary. Jason, you played the longest. How did y'all play back then? What'd you do? You just hit a character for two points and then just ran? I didn't play back then. But you they were just as, they were just as bad when you first started? Yeah, when I well, I didn't you know, we didn't play like when I first started, like we just played for fun. Like there was no like we were playing for like competitive stuff around here. We just played. Like, but yeah, but if I look at the like, I don't know, like I don't maybe I guess maybe just. I mean, it's definitely the Avengers set kind of sucks, and that's when I really started playing. <laughs> right? Yeah. I mean, but but if, I, if I look, we didn't know any better. <laughs> that's true. I, I guess I, you know, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I just don't truly understand what fun is for casual players, and maybe that's just my lot in life. It is. Um. <laughs> I mean, if we're looking at. All of the legacy cards, because we're still missing how many? Three is what we said. Uh, Dark, Dark Star, Monster Dude, or some major, and um, Black Panther. Yeah. Black Panther. Yeah, the the, so, two, the two. Yeah, so we've got Cosmos is the really really good one. Modok's pretty neat, even outside of the craziness. Like he's still pretty playable at eighty. Like yeah, I I think. I think Rick Jones is fine. Like I, I, I'm planning on looking into him. I think he's got potential because being able to keep popping out bystanders is pretty neat too. Um, and then, like we said a second ago, like Coulson's okay. Uh, who was the other one that was okay? Jarvis is kind of okay. Hawkeye is okay. Like that's not bad. Like that's over half of them is okay or higher. Like right. That's a good set of legacy cards. Like. For a set that's pretty, I mean, underwhelming as far as expectations go, because it's not like it introduces anything new. There's no new mechanics. There's no cool special objects or like anything in this set. This set is very much a basic set. Yeah. So far. So far. Well, I, I mean, from I mean, literally, it's a basic set from the aspect that they're not introducing oh. anything new. Right. There's nothing. Like, I get what you're saying. Not, yeah, Rise uh, X of Swords had all the new swords mechanics, all that stuff. You know, Disney Plus had all of those objects. War of the Rounds is probably the last basic set because there was just nothing. Uh, like, Empire, oh, Empire, one. yeah, Empire was kind of that way, right? It didn't have anything special, did it? Uh. It isn't, isn't that where they introduced follow up, which didn't mean anything? They introduced mm -hmm. some mechanic or two. Yeah, there. yeah. This was, was the set that follow up. It was a rocket raccoon. Yeah, yeah it was. Or recru no, recruiter was before that in Rise of Fall. Mm, no, recruiter was also in War of the Realms because it was on Doctor Strange. 
Right, but it's so I think it's it started in Empire though. So like it's like they introduced new like sub mechanics, but Empire or sorry, Avengers Forever didn't introduce anything new. It was like we're continuing. Here's some follow up. Here's uh, that's it. I think I don't know if, what else they have in here. That's a new mechanic. So it feels very basic, which isn't a bad thing. It's just you know. They got rally in there a little bit, so it's it's interesting. I'm mean, I'm eager to see when we get the rest of the pieces how our re- general set review goes and how our tier maker will go because that's um, you know it's a fine line going between War of the Realms and Empire. Yeah, that's true. Um, so let's talk about a little bit of the um main set stuff that we've seen uh jack smith asks us about prime ant-man and chase arachnite um mm-hmm. i which one first the the ant-man fella invisible ant-man invincible ant-man right which is tony did tony what did tony yeah. steal like some uh pim juice um, it's a, if I remember correctly listening, cause I actually listened to the Scott Porter thing. Um, it's an alternate universe, I think. So I think he was alone. If I remember correctly, like, I don't think anyone else was alive. I don't know. I'm terrible at this. I think if just go watch the unboxing <laughs> cause he talks about, um, when I want to Google it now, Yeah, he, he talks about the, uh, the, the whole concept An- behind the character. Yeah, Anthony Stark, Earth 818. Um, yeah, he's got some yeah, like... Eight. Yeah, he's got some yeah, hella... Yeah, Black Skull. Yeah, that's right. He That's what Scott was saying. Tony Stark, that's when he was in the different Earth that was conquered by the Black Skull. And so it's like he was pretty much alone. Like he, te- he did team up with other people like Moon Knight and whatnot, but... It wasn't like it was an apocalyptic place. So different, different. It's a multiverse type Tony Stark. Anyway, the figure though. Yeah. Um. It's too many points. Uh, right. I wish it wasn't a prime. Yeah, I think that's the the big problem with them. Now, unless they do something like they're doing with, uh, what's his face? The, um, shoot, uh, Century. Because Century, they, he has a thing where he can turn into the Prime for five points. Oh, yeah, so you're saying the, yeah, the non-Prime might be able to turn into him, maybe? Probably mm-hmm. won't, if, if we're thinking Invincible Ant-Man. That's an apocalyptic thing. I don't hate him. Like, Avengers, I'm thinking about all the primes available to Avengers. Is like, Ultron Pym and Destroyer. I don't know what... I'd have to look real mm-hmm. quick to see what else there is, but I don't necessarily... Um... Yeah, and he's a tiny... So, like, he can't be equipped to start out with. Yeah, but as soon as he he gets starburst at some point, right? Well, he, he, he can, can just he can just use until he chooses again. So he could become starburst. I was gonna say he could become starburst and then equip maybe with a oh, drop yeah, probably, with a drop object because you can't include objects on your force now. You'd probably do something like that because that is his modify attack and damage. So you're probably choosing that power most of the time anyway. Right. So, I mean, that's not a huge detriment. So, right now, the only Avenger based primes are Black Leopard, Ultron Pins, and then Invincible Ant Man and Swordsman. So, I don't think he's bad. He, he gives leadership, which is nice. All his other stuff is pretty neat, like that pulse wave. Does he have that pulse wave the whole He does. He does. Yeah. Dial? Okay. I yeah, don't, I don't hate that. Yeah, I mean, but I just don't know if he's ever going to get in a position to hit. I mean, six range, 
running shot. He's tiny. He's definitely like a finesse piece. He's not one that you could just clearly add to a team and it's like, oh, this is absolutely going to make my team significantly better. But right. I, I wouldn't ride. I wouldn't ride him like write him off and say, oh, he's not. He's not good. I think he's. He's not bad. It's just we. It remains to be seen. That's fair. Um, he does something interesting. Yeah. At least. Yes. Thank yeah. you, Jason. That's that's good. He's interesting. Mm-hmm. Right. Um. So, do we think that a rack knight, um, will get an errata? For, an errata for, for what? For, for quoi? Right. Um, so, uh, they missed, I think, an after resolutions on Arachnite. I, I don't know if that was on purpose. I, I, it could have been on purpose. It could have been, right. So, let's talk about Arachnite. Um, so, he's got, uh, a broken mind, the Arachnid, the Knight, the CEO, the Scientist. Stealth and Super Sense is traded, and then free... Uh, choose one to last until your next turn. Hypersonics until you choose again. Sorry, hypersonic speed, flurry, shape change, outwit, uh, and then he's got a special attack power, precision strike. Once per turn, when a Rachnite KOs an opposing character, you may roll a d6, three through six. Choose an opposing character, place a Rachnite adjacent to that character, and make a close attack targeting that character. Um, it is missing a- after resolutions. I think, or it's not missing, if it's not missing after resolutions, here's what you can do. You give him Flurry, you pick the Flurry, and you go in and KO a character, and then in the middle of your Flurry, you Mm -hmm. have to roll the D6, make the close attack, and then do the other attack of your Flurry. Yep. Mm -hmm. That sounds good. Which he's a Spider Man. I feel like I've always been looking for. I don't think that. I don't think that's game breaking. Like I don't think that. Yeah. Well, that like was my question. To... That was my. I didn't. Yeah. I didn't personally answer the question. I proposed the question. I, I'm trying to think. Like, is there anything game breaking where you make a second attack against someone across the map in a flurry or something? So the only the only thing that I can think of is they generally don't do a lot of in like basically interrupt actions um mm-hmm. because this would be interrupting the action of flurry um but maybe that's just how they intended it which is why he can pick flurry yeah like jason was saying like mm-hmm. it, it is kind of char- like it kind of makes sense yeah. and it also makes sense with the character right like mm-hmm. it's a, it's a rack knight so it's peter parker and moon knight so He's crazy, right? Yep. No, mm-hmm. I, I get it. I, I think it's. I think I understand. I, I think I understand it. Um, but I, I don't know. I think it's. It could be confusing for some folks. But just be aware of that interaction as it sits with a rack knight. Say it doesn't work that way. If worst case, I don't think it makes a difference either way. Now, back to, back to the question. What do we think about him? Is he playable? Uh, yeah. He's got two stop clicks, under points. Ah, uh, yeah, I think he is. Yeah. Oh, I love him. <laughs> yeah, defenders, and, and just... de- defenders, mystics, spider TA, traded super senses. Right, he's a Wonder Woman TA away from having super yep. good super senses. Um, I know we say that a lot, but it depends. Potentially double rollout because he can pick shape change. Yeah, I'm right. making themes of Wonder Woman too. So. Um, and I just thought of something. Uh, really interesting. Um, you can play him if you want to go this route. Just in, uh, let me walk through this a little bit. You can play the Six of Swords. Give him the lasso. Free lasso. Deal four damage. KO something. Teleport next to something. Punch something. Pick flurry. Flurry that something. Mm. He can make four <laughs> attacks in one turn. That's tasty. I like it. <laughs> um, mm. <laughs> that's, uh, that's not super crazy though, it's right? not it's really cool though it's yeah. really cool it's not game breaking it's not broken it's just freaking fun and i love it because like they have to have a, the ability to take the token for the six of swords it has to ko them 
they have to be in a position also to where you can play such a set. That's another key thing. Like if they're yep. barriered up in the back and they send a pog out, you can't just KO the pog and then boop over. You have to be able to place. Um, Cause it is a, a may, right? Like you, you may rolls. Does that make right. it? Yeah. It's a yeah. If, it, if you cannot, if you oh. cannot place them, you cannot activate the effect. Yeah. So it, it's not game breaking from that standpoint where he just gets through everything. You can still mitigate around it. I don't think this is one that he gets an erotic because it kind of makes sense. Um, but he is, keep in mind, he is 100 points. That is a little BP. And he right. does, I mean, he, still, he keeps moving uh, moving attack because he could just pick hypersonic. Yep. Mm-hmm. So. Right. I think it's fine. I mean, I think I, like I said, I think I understand it. But I, I just be aware that it, it is a an interaction that we don't typically see during the middle yeah. of a flurry. Well, even if it gets eroded, it's still fine. Yeah, I think it's fine, but it's just after, it just, a, it's a difference after resolutions probably means it takes a skosh of a hit. I think. Because right now, I think it's, what I'm thinking is, it's super powerful to be able to flurry, KO a pog, voop a doop yeah. across the map, punch something, use the second attack of Flurry on something else. Mm-hmm. Right? So you guys, were think- you guys were thinking about using the bracelets. I think this dude needs the Soul Sword. Uh, I was thinking about, like, giving him a, a Wonder Woman character on the map, but, yeah. You can, copy you can just play on the same team with Wonder Woman. They're mystical. Yeah, just copy it because he has three team abilities. Team and Death Metal well, Wonder Woman has, together. He has mystics. Yeah. Yeah. So he. So you could. Yeah. Even, you could give him the Soul Sword That's and what, give him the Wonder Woman TA from the Wild Card. Right. So uh, yeah. That, let's, what I was meaning uh, is the, let, the Mystic. Like, think of how much of a deterrent he would be because you have Super Senses, you have Shape Change. If they get through both of those, now you've got the Soul Sword. So that means they've got to take the the extra Mystic. So you're going to heal him one or. He's got a second. He's got a second click stop click. Yeah. Well, and then remember as well. Mad Jim is also mystical. So if they mm-hmm. manage to get through all of that, right? Because let's just say you ha- are, you know, this arachnite fella faces somebody that can reduce penetrating damage. Mad Jim swaps it out to the bracelets, so it's harder and shit to get through his super senses. And then old what's her name, Death Metal Wonder Woman says, "Okay, you went through all of that. Here, fucking come back." Well, you're, going to, nice you're, you're going to you're you're going to at least even... you're going to at least heal onto your probably onto your stop click. Yep. And the soul sword doesn't even need to. They don't have to actually click from the soul sword to get the heal off. Right. I'm yeah. Once per turn. Right. It just depends. Right. I, I'm just saying yeah. if you don't if if you don't think the soul sword's a good option, right? Mad Jim is there to yeah, just, just give him something else to loopy dupe him into something else, right? You could you could give him the Waldo arm so he could make a fifth attack. Right. <laughs> not, well, not if he's doing the. Oh, you mean lasso then swap to Waldo? No, you don't. No, you start on Waldo, then you switch to lasso. That's way too many. It sure is. It's really conditional, but it's hilarious. Um, I think he's probably out of the four that we've seen. Four chases. Him, Ghost Panther, Little Monster, and Green, Green Widow. Widow. Probably the most playable. I agree. Um, definitely. The other three are still pretty good, but he's definitely the, by far the most the most playable. The I, I'm thinking at full points. Right. Well, no. Uh, the Little Monster is pretty playable at full points. But he only has a hundred point click. But yes, I, I I was meaning like out of all of them, I think Arachnite is the most playable. Little Monster, I didn't want to go into it unless someone had a question. Of, but I actually really like Little Monster. Right. Um. I just wanted. I just. I think the only thing I want to say because it's not a set review, is to just say Scarab plus Little Monster. Yeet yeet go go get flurried. Yep. Yep. Right. Explain that. I haven't looked at the little monster. Uh, they both theme monster. The main thing is, uh, so monster has this. I won't go into his other powers of like when he hits or his hit, he gets a J germ token. He gets yeah. Just tell you, effect. tell them, tell the t- everybody how he whoops over. Yeah. So his move, his move power is uh, charge flurry, 
And then when an adjacent friendly character makes a ranged attack, ranged attack after resolutions, you may place little monster adjacent to a hit target. Oh, uh, nice. Okay. And so Scarab, when he, he counts lines of fire and square, so all of his things is ranged attacks when he does it from somebody with the quip or an object. So if he's able to hit somebody from range with something, then little monster will just boop over. You place him adjacent once again, as long as there's a space. Um, right, and you're gonna and, and you're gonna try to right. and you're gonna try to make the space because most likely Scarab is hitting with that radioactive clay. Sure. To move yeah, somebody, and, and, and then you get to do the what did what did Dan say? Yeet yeet doop whoop a doop get flurried. Yep, yep, that's whoop right. Doop get flurried. Yeah, that's yeah, cool. He has, yeah, he has charge flurry, and so and he ignores characters. And destroys blocking with movement. So oh, nice. he, he goes Great next combo. to somebody, and then you don't even have to attack that person. You can yep. just go charge somebody else next to them. My favorite combo is improved movement, destroys blocking, and characters. Mm -hmm. That's a cool That's a cool combo. Yeah, yeah and now the caveat is that he is very like susceptible to just dying. because he is Yeah, he will point. probably explode. <laughs> yeah, because he's invincible. He does not... Uh, invincible 17. He's seven clicks long. He goes to toughness, but higher point, uh, higher defensive values, but no stock click or anything. So it is very much a glass cannon little guy. If he hits though, um, or gets hit, like he does eventually become tiny. He does get super senses at some point. And if he gets the four, he gets uh, four of his little tokens, which he gets one every time he's hits or is hit. He can roll for super senses, and after rolling, you may remove one of these tokens or any number of the tokens to increase the roll of his super sense. And then you can also heal him by the number of j uh, germs or right. whatever they're called. It's it's neat, but most likely it's never going to get the four because he's just going to die. Um, but people love glass cannons. Right? I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's a pretty good one. I mean, he's coming in 11 for three, right? I mean, bearing not bearing some sort of object on him. Yeah, and that is that is neat that it's like you, if you have, because obviously if you're up to four, you're just going to automatically succeed unless you have a one, right? Because one is automatically not succeed on super right. senses. Right. So if you roll a two, you can remove all four, or three, I guess, and then after resolution, so you miss the, you know, you get out of the attack, and then you just heal after resolutions, back all the way back up, or however much. So it's he's got a little survivability, but right, it really depends. He I think we can also, I think we can also agree that, um, the the chases that we have seen so far are miles above the other world chases we have. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Um. Yeah, I mean, it, which is a shame because, you know, Weapon Hex wasn't terrible. Diamond Patch wasn't terrible. Like, some of the yeah. other ones aren't bad. Speed Weasel isn't bad. It's just they're not... There's X-Men has so many other pieces. Yeah, they've just been out. They just been outclassed, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's like if there was... If they weren't just X-Men or Brotherhood or something, then maybe they'd see play on other keywords. But... X Men just has too much. So. Well, how many of these new ones have we seen? Four of them. Four now? of them so far. Yeah. Ghost Panther is the one that's probably, is, I think, by far the worst. So far, yeah. So, yeah, so far. So um, we see Iron Hammer. <laughs> <laughs> um. Do you want to talk? I know we're not doing. I mean, we know the four right. so far. Green Widow, I'm trying to wrap my head around whether she's actually good or bad. I think she's neat. Like, so, she, for reaction, choose a set of colors and then choose one standard power match in each color. She could choose green and lime green or black and red. I don't know if that's good. So, like, she gets stealth super senses or outwit senses. Or then, like, charge the flurry. Like, uh... Yeah, she, she can't. Can she can't do charge flurry because she doesn't have charge on her dial. She uh... can do flurry steel energy if she's already next to somebody. Yeah. Right. I don't think that 
Green Widow was that great. Yeah, yeah she had, if gray was one of the colors, then maybe. <laughs> like, if she had another set of colors that gave her some flexibility with, like, oh, now she has TK and or leadership or brown. something. Like, brown? Brown would be a great one. Yeah, like something like that to give a little bit more support if so that way her 50 point dial was something and i i feel like brown wouldn't even like be super against the theme because it's supposed to be natasha and jennifer walters right like perplexing impervious poison like those are all like yeah um, but it's like you know black and red black widow colors and she hulk colors are green oh That's my it. gosh I, that makes sense That's you know what thank you for answering the question that i was afraid to ask <laughs> why, why those are the colors? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was like, I was racking, that, my, I was racking my brain. I was like, what the fuck are these colors for? Hey, thank you, <laughs> but thank you, but thank you, thing. thank you, WizKid set designers for being better comic book fans than me because y'all did a better job than. I hey, did. thank thank them also that they weren't like, oh yeah, like She Hulk, green and purple. It's like who <laughs> wants purple colors? Like that's the <laughs> worst one to pick powers from is purple. Purple's got close combat expert. What are you talking about? And that's it. Like, okay. Close I mean, power. and close combat expert would have been a cool combo. I mean, green and line green is, I think, pretty. pretty you, you get charge s- exploit. I mean, you, can get, you can get close combat and there yeah, are reflexes, reflexes and ESD. You can. Yeah. You have a lot. You have more, a lot more choices. Whereas right. if it was purple, you'd be you like, please like, no. If you could have just picked like one one of any of the four of them, two of any of the four of them, like that would have been better. Yeah, but I mean, team player, she's not bad. She's just not good. Great, yeah. right? Yeah, she's not impressive. That's right. So, all right. So I think for an initial look, we're at a pretty good spot. Unless y'all have mm-hmm. something else, y'all were just wanting to really talk about, which is fine. I think so. I think one thing I when uh, it got posted. Um, Scott had said it wasn't super meta. I think that Dormammu has potential. Not without Mastermind, he doesn't. He... Does he need the Mastermind, though? Yeah, because yeah, you just yeet a source him. Mm-hmm. I felt like it wasn't that easy to kill him. Um, let's see, I'm looking at his dial. I'll, I'll go look. How many points is he? 125. He does is bring things in, right? Like, that's his main. Yeah, he doesn't. Power is just hitting those leaderships. Yeah, I'm... I thought he. I thought he looked like there was something. No, I mean, you just tag him twice because you knock him off as invincible, then you penetrate him for the rest of the way. He, he, like, loses, I... he loses movement attack after his first three clicks, so. Yeah, like, I almost prefer Kang over him as far as uh, leadership bringing in people. That's only because I like Kang's pogs a lot more than I like Dormammu's. Uh, yeah, and non-pogs. the problem with this guy bringing in a bunch of stuff is that, like, they, he starts loose points. No, yeah, Baron, but Baron, Baron, Baron Mordo is, isn't bad either. Because that's if he hits a six, right? Like, if there's no Baron Mordo, he hits a six on leadership? Yeah, he can bring in Baron Mordo. But it's one Mordo. Correct. Right. On click four. Which Which still has the special damage power. Yeah. To bring in more of the guys. Yeah, Yeah. which which can heal Dormammu. Yep, but... um... I don't let know. Me, I could me, be wrong, but I thought he looked interesting. Let me ask. It, so he's got a... So click four is his starting line. But if it says he has to start on click four, does that mean he can heal up to one or no? Uh, It doesn't say that that's his starting line. It says generate him on click four. Right. I don't he, believe that's his starting line. Well, he does have a starting line there. Like you could play Baron mm. Mordo at forty on click four. I I think the generated one could potentially heal above that starting starting line. Yeah, I feel like uh, that's a clear that's a clarification question that we need yeah. to because it would say generate him on his red starting line. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. 
Because I, I was just, not that it makes a big a, a difference to heal him up, but if you could, like, you hit a six, you kill a thing, and he came in because of Dorn yep. generated one, and then next turn you're able to heal him back up to one. Like, that, that's a, well, that's the other question, though. If he gets KO'd, how many points is he? Like, it, so you bring him in, start ah, with four. Okay. Is he 75 or is he 40? Because if he's 75, oofta. Hell if I know. That's yeah, that's probably a good question Never for. Mind. That's probably a good. <laughs> that's probably a good question for the win at this point. Yep. Um, yeah, so if that, I think either case, I mean, I think forty might be okay to bring in Mordo, but if it's seventy-five, no way. Okay. Yeah. Am I bring yeah. in a seventy-five yeah. point figure. Blech. 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 Yep. Um, and then so I want to say we had one more question. Uh, so we had a couple, but uh, so Taylor. Uh, are any of these figures good? Well, so far, yeah, we got a couple of good ones. Yeah. Um, and then Dennis, uh, we will do our set our year end episode uh, in December. So, based on your question, uh, we will cover that in December. Um, and then uh, probably uh, Lewis says, "Do you think this could be the best sealed best set for sealed ever?" Wow. Um, yeah, I don't think so, because you pull Hulk, you probably just murder... Or Thanos. Or yeah. Thanos. Yeah, so... Seems pretty awful to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the problem is is that the hits that you can win on are really big. Yep. Um, I think it, we also just don't have a lot of um, play with Sealed with the set. Yet, yeah, really. yeah so, we, need to like, see, we need to see more of the set to give a more definitive answer. Uh, but it, the set right now to me feels a lot like Battle World. Uh, but unfortunately, Battle World had like the two Thanoses uh, and the Spider Queen that were really huge to wins in Sealed. So, yeah. Yeah, like I'm still in, I've been playing so much X of Swords. I'm thinking of this more as a Battle Royale. And I'm like, no, this is bad for a Battle Royale because of the point. Like, all the points you made about sealed is worse if it's a BR. Mm -hmm. um, at least sealed, you have a little bit more flexibility, but BR, you pull a, a Hulk. Oofta. So, uh, no, definitely not the best sealed. I think right now, if I were to, you know, you ask me immediately what's the best sealed set ever, I'd say Wonder Woman 80. Mm -hmm. And that's only because that's when they've limited powers, so they were able to. And it was a boring ass set to play in Seal. God, I thought it sucked. It, it, it sort of was, but at the same time, it was at least more balanced in my head because they because they took away some of the powers, they were able to kind of set everything in a little bubble to where it's like, okay, here's the pieces that can get through Impervious. Here's the pieces with Impervious because no one's got Invincible. No one's got Hypersonic. So they were able to balance the set around Seal a lot more. But I get your point. Like, it was boring because there wasn't a lot of creativity in it because there wasn't like yeah. a cool hypersonic but at the same time if you're looking at it just from sealed because i played a lot of sealed with it there wasn't a tournament where i went in and i was like oh my team is you know i pulled bad this is going to be bad like the balance felt pretty okay for a set and there may be an, a much older set that i'm forgetting about for sealed but i think because they were able to limit powers that helped them balance it a lot more. So that's true. That's true. It was just bland as fuck. <laughs> Side note: As I was going through this list, I forget that Echo is a is an Avenger. So oh, yeah, I, you you were really excited about her. Yeah, I actually really like Echo um, because it's like Hope, but much more offensive powers. Um, whereas Hope is much better at her lower point. You really don't want to play Hope at 100. Um, Echo I really like, cause, but we saw her super early, so people forget she's in the set. Um, as did I, because I forget that if if I was playing her in a non-Avengers team and could play like a Sat Saturnine or something to where I could copy Mastermind, then maybe Jarvis would be relevant then, but... Um, is there any other pieces that we've seen that you guys are just excited for? Just in general, maybe not necessarily meta, but any other, or eager to see? 
that maybe we haven't seen. I, I know as is answer to that one. <laughs> I want I want to see the source or the uh, what is it, the Soldier Supreme. Oh yeah, we haven't seen that. I forgot, yeah. I forgot that was in here. Is that supposed yeah. to be Cap? Is Cap and Doctor Strange? Cap and Doctor mm-hmm. Strange. Mm-hmm. That's I, really cool. I'm eager to see. I I don't know if it's going to be Void, but I'm eager to see Dark Century. Mm-hmm. Even though oh, it's the, 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 the prime, the, the prime, yeah, because it, it does say century, like fifty three B century, but it says void, like his trait says void. So when he's KO'd, he, you replace him with the century. So I'm eager to see that version of century, because century is crazy powerful. It's just they have not made a good century, um, I think ever. Has there been a good century? Uh, century, century void. void. Wasn't century void like nuts? Yes. Yeah, he was nuts. Yes. Yeah. That's right, the the Chaos War one. Yeah, he was absolutely nuts. But that uh, was Chaos War. Yeah, like, that was a long time ago. Yeah, yeah I think ago. I think it'll be a chase that I want to see. So, is there a specific one? I think I, I think I want to see the other half of the Iron Hammer from Az. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to see the hammer. I want to see the iron. Yep, makes sense. So well, let's see. The, the set has eight chases, and we've seen four of them. Right. Yep. And we know we know two more. Do we know what the other two characters are? Um, I'm looking at the realms thread: Soldier Supreme, Iron Hammer, something, Ghost Panther, Kamala Kang, Little Monster, Green Widow, Dormammu Red. Kamala Kang, Dormammu Red. Hmm. Yeah. So there's something after Iron Hammer. That we haven't seen. Uh, well, would that be Arachnite? Yeah, it's Arachnite. Never mind. Yep, Arachnite. So we're missing <laughs> Marvel Kang, Dormammu, Red Skull, Iron Hammer, Iron Hammer. and Cap- Captain Strange. Like yep. those are all very good potential. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like those That's are right. all solid team ups. And we haven't Marvel seen all the team up cards. So we haven't it's seen. Though. We haven't seen all the team up cards yet either so could be something oh, my expectations are super low because all of them have been bad right there's not been a single one that's like oh that's interesting um it's like they just decide real in my opinion it feels like oh crap we did not add enough into this set to make a stand out let's add team up cards and only put them in the legacy card deck also which is kind so of you get a legacy card and a team up card every break card, yeah yeah like that's that. kind of weird um, but there's only 12 team ups um, and 14 legacy, so a little weird there. But I think I think 12 team up team ups is fine. They didn't need to do like the the 50 that we're in. Oh, uh, I don't know why they didn't just do 14. So you've got one legacy, one team up, and they, oh, they go sure. one to one. Yeah, they go one to one. Right. You could even just pair them if you wanted to, like and say, okay, every <laughs> this card always has this team up, like. You could have done it a little better, but I, so far the three or four that we've seen have been very um, typical team ups. Like we just haven't had a lot of team ups. I don't know the last time I've seen a team up card be played. So, uh, yeah, it's been a while. Um, so McConnell will answer your question probably next time. It's about equipment stuff. Um, probably need to do a little bit more thinking on that one for us. Oh, uh, I, I I'd like to say one thing to that question though, because he asked like, which equipment do you need multiples of? Um, just the swords that you want to play. Yeah, just remember that like, even when we get to BTU's new equipment rules, equipment is still unique. Right. So like, only sword bearers probably. Yep. All right, we can talk more about that next episode as mm-hmm. well. Um. Final thoughts, Jason? Um, well, Margarita was good. It's empty now. So I'm kind of sad. But, oh, uh, poor Jason. Poor Jason. Yeah. Uh, as uh, final thoughts, I'm, I'm super excited for a rack night, though. Yeah. yeah. Can't wait to get that. I'm, I'm ready for, for thunder and lightning. Fair enough. Ready for the iron, the iron and the, and the, the little hammer. Metal, Alex. I guess I need to get my calculator out. 
<laughs> yeah, you might want to bust out the old. You might want to bust out the old. Um, you might want to bust. Out, yeah, bust out the old yeah. TI-83 plus. Uh, yeah, let me go see if I still have drug wars or mafia wars on there. Man, now I want to see Alex come to the next event with an abacus. <laughs> no, I'm gonna no no that, that's not that all is done pre I, I'm gonna hand you a little card that says here is what I'm swapping <laughs> yeah just bring, a, just bring just bring an Excel that. spreadsheet dude with like all the packages <laughs> laid out I, I said before if I'm playing one of these teams where I, I have a lot of swap options and I do have a lot of swap options I'm bringing you a card that says okay I am choosing this swap here's you know here's the point swaps like this is what happened and then if you go, and then and then, and then if you get, then if you go second, you're going to be like, "Here's the way you should hose over my swaps, and here's how I'm working around them." Well, then it. you get. Go ahead. I was gonna say, then you get the one opponent who was like, "Judge, my opponent brought notes to the game." <laughs> I mean, how? Think of how of a power technique was. Ah, I knew you would hose my swaps, and you did it exactly as I predicted. Here's the card that I predicted would, you would, would do. You... Could you be so nice as to laminate those for us? Uh, yeah, yeah, man, sure. Yeah, yeah, thank you, yeah. <laughs> I'll, get, I'll get to that. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, just in case anybody doesn't know that, that Alex is potentially joking, you, you are not allowed to do that. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, um, you can, usually if I was going to do that, I'd just talk to the judge at a time. Most of the people are usually fine with that. Um, right. Just to but if, if you have people that are really strict on the rules, you are not allowed to bring notes to the table. That is true. All right, and then on that note, um, thanks everybody for listening to Clicks Off today. I don't really have any final thoughts. More to see, more to come. Looking forward to seeing the rest of the set and finalizing plans for Florida. So thanks everybody for listening to Clicks Off today. We'll talk to y'all next time. Later.